Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, founder of Etherplan. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about Ethereum Classic 1000. The market is wrong and we are right. It's like a 2022 end of year summary of my price prediction for Ethereum Classic and the assumptions that I use for that price prediction. Uh, I, as a disclaimer, I am senior editor at the ETC Cooperative. But this uh, video is about my role as the founder of Etherplan. It is separate from the ETC Cooperative. As, a, as the editor of the ETC Cooperative, uh, we don't talk about price uh, at the ETC Cooperative, neither in the editorial line. So this is just my personal opinion and has nothing to do uh, with the ETC Cooperative, which is an uh, uh, an organization that supports Ethereum Classic uh, in, in, uh, in many ways, like in infrastructure, communications, organizing events, promoting Ethereum Classic, uh, research and development of the technology and the protocol. But they have the policy is not to talk about price. So this is absolutely an independent opinion and personal uh, of mine and Etherplan. So these are the topics that I'm going to talk today. Uh, one, positioning. ETC is the leading proof of work and smart contracts and fixed supply blockchain. This is unique in the world. ETC should be above Doge. The equivalent price should be 65. So if ETC were to had the market capitalization of Doge, it would, the, its price would be today 65. ETC, ETC should be above BNB Smart Chain. The equivalent price, if it had the market cap of BNB Smart Chain of ETC would be today 283. Hash rate is strong. It's still at 120 terahashes per second. And the macro situation is the burden that is dragging down Bitcoin and ETC. Um, rates are now four and a half percent. They went up from a quarter of a point to four and a half percent. And the Fed pre-announced already that it would keep raising rates in, in 2023 uh, to at least five percent. That, that is a very high rate, uh, even, even in historical standards. Uh, in the 90s, for example, it was between three and, and six percent. So it's, it's in the high range, five percent. Uh, and the point six that I want to make today is ETC security model is true, perfect and correct. It is only a matter of time. <clears throat> so my argument is that Ethereum Classic is going to 1000. Um, of course, I am aware and everybody makes me aware that I've been uh, saying that ETC, ETC should be trading in the short term at 1000 in 2021, now in 2022. In both cases, it hasn't happened. And when we know what is the, the macro situation and the crypto winter that we are going through. But um, just as a summary of 2022, ETC went up in, in April due to just natural market forces uh, to, to 48. The, the, the all-time high was 180 in 2021 during the, the heyday of the, of the bull market of 2021. But it, in 2022, uh, then it did this high uh, in April when there was optimism at the time that inflation was going to be controlled and the, the Fed would not need to raise rates, etc. Then the whole market stocks... Uh, uh, bonds and commodities, um, crypto, everything went down because it was clear that inflation was going to continue at, at a rate of 7, 8 or 9 percent and the real inflation is much higher than that. Uh, so everything went down again, but ETC in particular uh, went up significantly in August, September because Ethereum uh, finally moved to proof of stake. So Ethereum Classic remained uh, now, remains now, at, or turned into the largest proof of work smart contracts blockchain in the world. Uh, so that was a very positive news. The fact that they 
finally move. It went up, but then together with the rest of the market, the inflation stays is still high. The Federal Reserve stay is still uh, raising rates um, and they expect to continue raising rates and the crypto winter in general in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the rest of the market is still going on. So ETC couldn't escape that. So we're ending the year at around 15, 16, which is the price more or less uh, today. This is the recap of the price. Uh, so of course, uh, my target of 1000 didn't happen in this context. My price of, of 1000, one of the assumptions is that Ethereum should go to 10,000 and Bitcoin should be uh, at 125,000 approximately. So that, uh, that hasn't happened because of the macro situation. <clears throat> In terms of this positioning that uh, Ethereum moved to proof of stake and Ethereum Classic now remains as the largest proof of work uh, smart contracts blockchain. And like I said in, in, in the index at the beginning, it's not only proof of work and smart contracts, but it has a fixed monetary policy. It has a code is law philosophy. It will remain fully replicated in 100% of the nodes, the database, transactions and blocks, uh, while other systems just to scale because they're seeking innovation. Uh, they're going to do sharding and stuff like that, like, that, like in Ethereum. Um, um, within the proof of work segment alone, Ethereum Classic is the one, two, three, four, the fifth largest blockchain in the world. And not only that, because it's proof of work and programmable and has a fixed monetary policy, uh, but mainly because it's programmable, it should be above Doge, like I said at the beginning. And if it, Ethereum Classic had this market capitalization and would be above Doge, uh, its price should be today 65, not 15 or 16. So this is why, these are the reasons why I say the market is wrong, we are right. We have better information than the market. It is a fallacy and it's a lie that the market is always right or things like that, that, that kind of uh, um, rhetoric. If, if that were true, then why is Tesla down 70% uh, or 80% in price? So the market was right when it was uh, five times higher or the market is, is right today? The market is, is never right or wrong. The market is just a place where people go, get together and buy and sell and speculate largely on a day-to-day -day -day basis and where long-term investors go and pick up bargains uh, that tr day traders sell to them. Uh, but the market is not this intelligent entity that knows everything. The market is, I would say, the opposite. The market is an unintelligent entity that moves by fear and emotion and has very low rationality. So because we, the ETC community, the ETC ecosystem, and the ones who are following ETC and understanding these fundamentals that I, and assumptions that I am describing, we have much better information than the market. And we know much better than the market what is the real value of Ethereum Classic. So the Ethereum Classic should be up here and, and um, that would put it at today at $65. And then when the whole market goes up again, that's another myth that, oh, crypto is dead and we are in a winter. This is going to take years and years or it's going to die and going to zero. A lot of people are saying the Bitcoin is going to zero. It's worth, that, is, that is useless. That's typical. That, and that's the stupid market. That, that's the dumb market talking. And we shouldn't uh, pay attention to that because we, again, we have better information and we know the truth. And the truth is that these systems uh, especially Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic are true and correct in their design and the solution that they bring to the world. And they are true innovations. None of the other blockchains in the world are as true as Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic. Not even Ethereum, Solana and all the scams and the, and the, and the ones that have millions or billions of dollars to spend in brainwashing the market. Um, so this is the point about proof of work and that it should be above Doge. Then this is, this is the list of the same list as before, but of the smart contracts blockchain. As, as you can see, Ethereum 
uh, everybody knows that that is the largest smart contracts blockchain now it's proof of stake so ethereum bnb smart chain or bnb is second uh it's proof of stake proof of stake cardano is proof of stake polkadot is proof of stake tron is proof of stake solana is proof of stake avalanche cosmos is proof of stake and ethereum classic is the ninth largest smart contract blockchain in the world and algorand in, uh, internet computer v chain all these eos are all proof of stake proof of stake is no innovation proof of stake is just a cloud service where they in a cumbersome way they replicate the database among many cloud services but that's it it's it, it, there it's centralized system and they subjectively decide everything in those chains there's abundant uh, information and proof that those chains are manually handled and and uh, and uh, manipulated and managed by their ecosystems in in ethereum they even have something that they call social consensus where they decide where ultimately the security of the system is vitalik buterin and, and the developers that say okay we think that this is wrong so we're going to reverse the chain because we achieve social consensus and that's their security model so um, so these systems are not even a, an, an innovation. Just by being proof of stake, Ethereum Classic should be above all of these systems. But let's say that Ethereum, which is part of my theory or my hypothesis, um, if they say, let's say that Ethereum is valuable anyway because it can be a layer two system of Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic that is scalable and it has sharding and all that which destroys the concept of security in a blockchain but because it's a layer two system it's okay to process more volumes of transactions therefore it's more scalable and it's and, and it's justified that it that it that is the biggest one in that layer two segment so it, etc should be at least uh below ethereum if not above but let's say it should be below ethereum if it had the market cap of bnb smart chain which is which is a to even more centralized than ethereum because it's it's a mix of proof of authority and proof of stake um it should be worth at this market cap uh, of 39 billion etc should be worth 283 dollars today so the, this is the true information and the true justification or arguments uh, and r reasonable thought about these these values, not what the market says. This is why we are right and, and the market is wrong. And this is why to buy ETC at 15 or 16 is the opportunity of a lifetime to continue accumulating as um, like I do whenever I have fiat money, uh, savings or, or extra money, I buy ETC. Uh, it could be one, it can be a hundred, it can be 200 or whatever amount. Uh, this, is, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Then the hash rate, as I said before, let's, let's follow the, 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 um, the index. So positioning, the positioning is clear. Um, should be above those, should be above BNB and the hash rate. Okay, this is the hash rate. So the hash rate of ETC, this is when, when Ethereum moved to proof of stake, ETC reached this peak uh, and ETC now retains, as you can see, it was before around 20, 22, 23, and now it has a hash rate of 120 terahashes per second. Or, so it's still five times or six times more secure than before. This proves that the security model of ETC is perfect and correct as it is uh, you don't need to move to any other system sharding proof of stake all those technologies are not innovation those are just ways of destroying a blockchain which is what they're doing at ethereum ethereum for example is 60 to 70 percent censored today blocks in ethereum and transactions are not being processed because of which account is sending the transaction and moving the money uh, because they are complying with just normal traditional systems of know your customer money laundering controls and international uh, sanctions uh, of the of OFAC in the United States. So, so that is sufficient proof <laughs> that that Ethereum um, 
basically uh, ended their 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 security by moving to proof of stake and it's also proof that proof of stake is an absolutely subjective and uh, capturable system uh, and ethereum classic being uh, the biggest and most unique blockchain in, in the top blockchain that is uh, proof of work smart contracts and fixed and fully replicated and has the pure model that was the original invention of satoshi nakamoto is an incredibly valuable uh, position bueno this is the i think the the macro situation is what has the whole market is almost flat we have <clears throat> dozens and dozens of large tech companies that are down 50 percent 80 percent 90 percent we have um we have um commodities that are flat to down we we have all of crypto is down and we're going through through a winter and and some coins are down 70 80 or 90 percent and stuff like that well now the fact that uh, in in a very in, in in a matter of months rates went from a quarter point to four and a half is the reason that uh, spooks the market again the market is just a dumb stupid individual if you want to they almost create a persona of the market that gets cared for anything and runs uh, in one direction and then in the other and one day can 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 you can you can be in a bubble and uh, a month later you can be in a crash uh, and and so this this kind of move by the federal reserve uh, which is an aberration that you have a board of a few technocrats uh, deciding the whole destiny of the economy of the world <clears throat> but that's the way that's the model that in, in which we are today which bitcoin and ethereum classic are going to solve in the future this is the whole purpose of of these systems uh, when you go to, from a quarter or a half a point to four and a half it's a huge blow to the market and not only that they keep announcing that they are not done until inflation is below two percent and because they have printed so much money and there's like uh, 22 trillion dollars in money in dollars in the world today and before this uh, uh, rush there, there was 14 trillion approximately so there were uh, six to eight trillion dollars printed and created uh, since 2020 that money is still circulating and it could accelerate in velocity and it's it's still generating inflation because it's still persistent about seven percent decelerating a little bit but still above seven percent and if they really want to not stop raising rates until they they lower it to 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 two percent then it's possible that inflation should continue its course until it finally processes through um the quantity of money and velocity and the prices adjust totally to the new stock of money uh, and in that process because the federal reserve is also a bunch of technocrats that they get scared of course they're going to continue raising uh, raising rates uh, until until they, they 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 stop inflation because uh, they are they are they are doomed if they don't do it uh, i think that now um, Inflation in itself is actually bullish for Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic because the expansion of money and, and the stock of money that is expanding and the velocity of money as people lose uh, confidence in the money and the acceleration of velocity should increase the price of sound assets. Also, maybe there is a situation where Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic are, are still not regarded as sound yet. Oh, again, that would be another example of why the market would be wrong and we would be right because it's obvious that Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic are when you when you know about these things and you have the correct information, you already know that they're sound money. Um, but because the market doesn't know this, they just see it as speculative uh, and and just um, games that they play in the market, so they. When, when they are when they're bullish everybody buys and they, and they create the bubble and when they say okay bueno because it's not sound money and, and it's a speculative item i'm just going to sell it and dump it and it doesn't matter how how low it goes 
So because they're not taken seriously yet, it's because we have, it's one reason why we have these huge ranges where Bitcoin can be at 60, 69,000 and then 16,000 like now, or ETC could be at 180 and now 15 or $16 per, per coin. Uh, as the market gets educated and we continue educating the market, and, the mar and there's less asymmetry where we have good information and the market has bad information. But when this gets more, there, when there's more symmetry and the market is well informed and that may happen um, in the future, could take a few years, etc. Then um, Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic should continue going up. My, my longer term price targets for Bitcoin are half a million and then a million and for Ethereum Classic, is a thousand short term, eight thousand um, in the medium term, and by the end of the decade, it should be around thirty three thousand. Uh, when the market realizes the truth, and the truth is that uh, ETC has a perfect and correct uh, security model that I'm going to show now, and it is much better than proof of stake smart contract blockchains, and they realize that smart contract blockchains are proof of stake and sharded are basically a lie uh, because they, they, are, they are no better than cloud services. And I would say they are worse because they, they have the database replicated, making them extremely costly uh, and burdensome to operate. It's much better to just have Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud or AWS or Telefonica de España Cloud or any cloud service, IBM, uh, any cloud service in the world to serve you than using a, a replicated cloud service where all the data is replicated among thousands of computers around the world in a very inefficient and costly way. And I say that Ethereum Classic, uh, the, its model is true, perfect and correct uh, because it works like this. <clears throat> as, as the demand for uh, computing in Ethereum Classic through developers and startups who create applications because Ethereum Classic is programmable, therefore the money is programmable, something that Bitcoin is not. Um, when there's more demand and there are more people building applications inside Ethereum Classic where the application is inside the secure environment of Ethereum Classic of the blockchain and not in a cloud service that is controllable or capturable. When this demand increases, then more core developers are going to want to build on ETC. This is going to, to uh, make miners to mine more ETC, more full nodes participate in the network. Uh, the network becomes more secure with, with all of these constituents and activity. And this increases the demand uh, for, for Ethereum Classic. So there's a virtuous circle. Uh, we just need the, um, it's a matter of time until developers and startups start to realize that they should use Ethereum Classic and therefore the demand for its true decentralized uh, computing is going to be higher. All the other systems do not have true decentralized computing. That's something that the market doesn't know because the market is dumb, like I said before, because people are lying to them, like Vitalik Buterin, Charles Hoskinson, and all the leaders of all the other proof of stake um, systems are blatantly and openly lying to them, knowing that they are lying to everybody, saying that proof of stake is more secure than proof of work, saying that proof of work is bad for the environment and things like that. They are lying and they know that they are lying because they are scammers at heart. Um, but when the, the world realizes the truth, because the truth in the end wins, because it's a physical reality, it's more or less like physics or math or chemistry or biology, um, demand for the true decentralized computing is going to increase. This is demand for Ethereum Classic, that computing power. Uh, and this is going to make the price, this is the other side of the security model, the price of ETC to go to rise. This also incentivizes miners to, to, to come because mining becomes more profitable. This means that more processing power is going to be dedicated to Ethereum Classic. The Ethereum gets more secure and therefore the decentralized computing quality is much better. Therefore, the demand increases and then more core developers are going to want blah, blah, blah. They come, the price increases, more mining, etc. So this 
this virtual circle is already designed. We already did the work in ETC. DC, ETC, this is why it's perfect and correct as it is. It doesn't need any major changes except tweaks and things that we're going to continue doing with the correct research and, and, and development. It's just a matter of time until this, circ this, this model starts to, to, to pump in, in the sense that people are going to be using more ETC and it's going to go up, 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 and from there it's never going to stop. <clears throat> so this, these are, these are the, um, this is the summary then of um, my assumptions, why I think that the market is wrong and why I think that we are right because we have the correct information and all the reasons and assumptions that I'm using to estimate that ATC should in the short term go to 1000 um, and, and then by, by uh, 2025, 2026 it should be around 8000 and by the end of the decade 33,000 and it should be at the base layer we have the base layer proof of stake is on top that the leader there is going to be Ethereum very likely and then you have all the scaling systems like sharding and, and Lightning Network uh, and all the high volume and, and the roll-ups and all that and then you have the wallets and they have apps and stuff like that. Decentralized applications, the, the stack is going to be very big but at the base layer the two big enormous blockchains are going to be Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic. Um, and this, this is the, the summary and this is why I think that the, the price target is still 1000 for 2023 whenever the Fed that's going to be the key the, the Fed stops raising rates and the market realizes that inflation is finally uh, under control or that the Fed is not going to be able to raise rates anymore because it created a recession or something like that then at that point I think um, the crypto market is going to resume its upward trajectory, Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic in particular. Thank you very much.